Hello guys, it's Maisie and welcome back to Project Car. This is round 7 of the AOR GT3 Elite League. It's third season here at AOR. And we are racing this round on the Hockenheim Grand Prix, which I don't have to introduce this circuit to you, I believe. Uh, because it's well-known circuit in Germany, a lot of F1, um, F1 races were held here. So uh, you can see that my qualifying lap didn't start well. I went off in the uh, turn one. I went a little bit wide there and uh, also bump, uh, jumping uh, all over the curbs, which I lost time there. But you know I had to continue. So we are now just approaching the back straight, which is my um, you know best uh, part of the of the track because of the car has uh, it's it's very slippery car so. That's good, but the braking into hairpin is very difficult as uh, this car doesn't, you know, perform well under braking, and especially you can see it's raining and it's also dark. So I was not very comfortable with the car, but I have to continue. Nevertheless, now approaching the uh, quite difficult turn and braking point here uh, in front of the Mercedes Arena section, and this one, this turn in the dark is quite difficult to take. You have to judge or you have to guess when to turn in and you can see I messed that one quite a bit because I went a little bit wide again off the track but uh, I was losing time anyway so I just you know said to myself that I have to continue and just to do some banker lap and uh, now we are approaching the uh, last sector with the stadium section uh, which is quite um, you know uh, quite handful with this car the car you can see it's understeering uh, quite hard <coughs> Uh, not as a other GT3 cars, but mm, you know, I have to make my time in the back straight anyway So we are now in 143.1, which is not the best, but it's not the slowest So hopefully we'll be in the middle of the grid anyway And you can see that F1 Massa took pole position once again at Hockenheim with the time 141.2 Followed closely by Kaki and then Tipper in third then Mini Black in the fourth, and Mini Black is the last one who broke into 141s. Then we have Andrex in BMW, then my teammate Brownskin sixth, then Yorkie in seventh, also a teammate with Andrex. Then we have AJ in eighth, then RC Monster 99 in ninth, and closing the top ten is Jellyfish, which is great result for him. We finished in a P14, which is in the second half of the pack, but hopefully. I can make some position at the start, my some positions at the start, and also at the back straight uh, because my Audi has a slight advantage at the at the straight. So we'll see, we'll see what yes. will happen. So here we are on the grid. It's raining. All cars are fitted with the rain weather tires, I believe. So we're just waiting for the lights, and there they are. And it's green and first gear and off we go, we seem to have a good start of the line. You see Hutch is um, you know, falling back and we are following Jellyfish in 12 and it looks like the Jellyfish and other 4 cars had some slashing and bashing in the first corner which is great for myself because I, I'm already in, P na in P10 so this is a th uh, first half of the grid. We have Silver Arrow just behind and Pedro RC with AJ in front in 8th and now it's the back straight and I hope that we will make those two positions also and taking you know uh, Pedro RC 99 and also AJ with my um, with my Audi and uh, you know spotting a breaking point um, I was breaking a lot a lot earlier than Pedro who seems to have a you know great car on the brakes as you can see he's still in the front and we have uh, you know AJ at the back and Yorki or maybe it's not yeah, it, it is Yorki in the front and still Pedro in, the, in our left hand side and I will try to you know not give up and still I'm not giving up but this time it is the right hander and Pedro RC has the uh, racing line better racing line through that corner and I didn't want to do any any more damage to him and also to myself so quite um, you know good start for myself P9 with uh, AJ in behind and Pedro in front Brownski is I think two positions ahead of Pedro so that's Pedro in front then it's uh, one of the Yorex uh, racing drivers I think it's Yorki 
and just in front of New York key, it's Brownski, and then I believe it's Andrex UK. And you can see on the right hand side uh, and also on the back of the grid there is some car uh, standing on the grid which is quite dangerous but hopefully it's off the racing light so it should be quite okay. So the second lap. It's, it's a 38 lap race and also as you can see it's raining and also it's dark. And we are starting, I think it's um, around 4 a.m. or 5th a.m. in the morning. So there will be some transition between uh, on, night and uh, morning. And also it's going to be dry. In the middle of the race we are going to switch for uh, slick tires, slick dry tires, around lap 20. So uh, let's see if, uh, if the undercuts will work. Um, as in real real life or not, um, we will see in the next 20 laps. Still, Sir Silver Arrow behind me, and also Pedro RC in front. It looks like no changing in positions in front of the cars. It looks like Pedro went a little bit wide there, but no harm done for himself. As I'm going quite under steering once again in this in this car. Uh, this car really doesn't like rain. Uh, it likes straights and no corners. <laughs> that's the break. That's the that's the environment where the Audi excels like Monza and uh, another you know uh, another tracks with uh, long straights like uh, we saw in Dubai, for example, when I, where I defended like crazy, um, you know, from mini black, la the whole Clear second stint. Still you can see the car, the Yorkie's car is on the grid because I think he had to disconnect and reconnect uh, again in the, maybe in qualifying but I'm not sure. And the game is, you know, getting uh, more and more bugs. Uh, some bugs are fixed, some bugs are, you know, uh, appearing from no, uh, no reason. But this is, this is in modern games. Every modern game has some bugs. Uh, I don't know what what the developers are doing. As you can see, now I'm going uh, a lot slide sideways, not sideways, but sideways. There, because I hit the sausage curb on the inside of the of that uh, stupid, you know, non seeable corner. Is it just that there? Uh, and uh, Silver Arrow, uh, thanks to thanks to my mistake, Silver Arrow is you know closing in. Us. You can see in the last corner there. I also went a little bit sideways under under acceleration, as, as I as I said in the in the qualifying. This this sector is just damage limitations, and I have to make my time in the in the long straights. But I have Silver Arrow behind me, and he is also in the Audi. So uh, I hope uh, that he will not uh, close me, close down on me, uh, as fast as maybe guys in the BMWs. Now we are in lap 11 already because I was just catching Brownski the whole, you know, t um, seven or eight laps when we uh, left our battle. And I think Brownski had some problems uh, with the uh, with the car in the rain. He maybe has some damage. Yeah. Uh, and he's quite he's a little bit slower than me than myself just right now. So I think he he will let me by just to try and uh, I will try to catch your Yorkie in front of him. Uh, but let's see if Brownski will um, will let us by or not. Uh, you know you you can see right now that the slipstream is working even with the Audi following another Audi. And I think Brownski is running a little bit uh, higher wings than myself. I I had. I have, a, I think, a lesser uh, rearing angle, which helps on the straights, but it doesn't help uh, with the acceleration and also in the corners, in the wet, and also in the braking. Because if you have more aerodynamic uh, downforce, <laughs> you will break uh, in a shorter distance. And right now, Brownski is letting me by. So right, thanks Brownski. Right. And right now I'm going to try to catch Yorki in front. He is 2.8 2.2 seconds in front, but he has the BMW and in this uh, part of the track it's impossible to catch them because they have much more downforce and mechanical grip, I would say, because I had some practice and also uh, when 
uh, Z4 is following me. Uh, is uh, the Z4 is much better on the brakes anyway, so I have to be, you know, quite smooth to catch Yorki, and I hope I will catch him. But we'll see. It's lap 15 already, and uh, we still have Brownski behind. He's he dropped like three seconds behind, and I was uh, catching slowly. I was catching Yorki slowly. And right now he's just 1.2 seconds ahead of myself. So I hope uh, I will do the same job as I did the last yeah. five laps. And, and it, it looks like Andrex UK is, uh, you know, letting Yorki by, which is okay. quite good for myself because I'm going to overtake Andrex. Left so side. there was a little bit of a mistake yeah. there from yeah. Andrex, or maybe he had uh, some this sort of a okay. spin. Yeah. So he had to. Uh, so he had to. Um, <laughs> he had to, uh, you know, let the Yorkie by to not hold him up, and you can see that Andrex is very, very close on my on my gearbox, or not, or on my on my bumper there, and he was running over the curbs in a turn one, which you don't want to do, as those curbs are deadly. If you if you hit the curb in a weird angle, you will spin, and you will spin, and you will crash into the opposite wall, and you, there's nothing you can do. Right now, closing Yorki is just eight tenths in front, so hopefully I will I will not lose any time in the last sector, and then I will, you know, close Yorki down uh, in the back straight. But we'll have to wait for another lap. It's still lap 16, so we're all closing into the halfway point of the race, and the rain is easing off already. And the lap times are still in 143, so uh, this is uh, like my uh, qualifying pace, which wasn't perfect. As you can see, that I can I can manage those lap times um, even with uh, uh, you know worn tires and uh, half a half a, half a fuel tank of fuel. So still last sector quite uh, fighting with the car there also you can see Adner steering and also going off the track quite slightly there. And also going a little bit of oversteer on the exit of the last corner. And still a few tenths off the pace. And Andrex is looking that he wants to overtook, overtake me. I said another lap. It's lap 18. So we are closing. So... I think right now if somebody wants to try uh, slick tires, uh, he can dive into the bigs and try it because it looks like the times are dropping down. You can see it's uh, 142.4 and I'm going off in the cor first corner and Andrex, you know, uh, took the advantage and overtook me. Uh, so I have to just follow him into the, you know, straight and hopefully with my... Um, with my speed, I will close him, uh, close on him, and also overtake him. So let's see. I will try. I will, I will try to use his slipstream, which is, seems to work. And you can see that uh, my closing is, my closing speed is quite, you know, good. Uh, but he's he's good on the brakes, as you can see, he's still on the left side. But I have the inside of this hairpin, and right now my crew chief says that it's clear on the left. So. I just uh, switch back to my uh, racing line, no, so you and I'm going to the point. stadium area, or not, it, yeah, it, this point is point. not the stadium area, it's the area up in yeah, front of uh, the Mercedes arena, and still oh, I have it's Andrex it's just behind, yeah. trying to, yeah, you know, overtake me once again, and I, I think, think he, uh, he will have a good chance in the last no, sector, I so I have to yeah. watch yeah. And defend from him, and you can see he, he took much more speed in the in the last corner there. And I have Hendrix on my right, still holding the inside line and giving him room because he's still there. And also I have to go, uh, you know, to the outside lane on this in this corner, which gives Hendrix in the inside, and uh, sadly we collided. I think he, I think Andrex has uh, some sort of the understeer, and also there is brown skin in the inside, so I have to watch him. Ah, oh, that was quite close. Uh, thanks to uh, I, I saw him that he's he's going there, and also he he said that he's there. 
so I have to so I have to watch him and give him room not to collide with my teammate which is which you don't want to do in any other racing this is rule number one don't crash your teammate in racing and um, rule number two is you know see rule number one so in no circumstances in no circumstances don't crash into your teammates which which I did yes. thankfully I didn't crash into Brownski and you can see my pit board is up so I will go t into the pits because I think I have uh, some minor damage on my car with the with the contact with Andrex and I uh, went into the wall nose front so I'm going to pit uh, it's it's I think a perfect time to pit so uh, so yeah I'm going to be one of the first guys in the sticks and you can see Andrex when the <laughs> also dive bombing me uh, which uh, you know he he forced his way through me which I didn't like much but you know I'm actually gonna pit yeah uh, no harm feelings there but I lost two places there because of that so that's not good for my position I'm in 10th and Brownski is not going to pit because uh, there is some bugs when you have a lot of cars in the pit box and uh, you know your car sh your car will be smashed no matter what and we have Silver Arrow who was following me myself in uh, the whole race and he is also pitting he took quite a dangerous line there because I thought that he will not pit but uh, it was the last score for pitting so right now we are going to pit, we are going to relax for like 40 odd seconds so yeah behind Tony R I think Tony R was you know uh, not racing at this point because I think he had he had some sort of bug or maybe he's, his car was destroyed or maybe he made some sort of a mistake and I'm not sure but he retired from the race as you can see his car is not, not doing anything so my tires are changed it's uh, on slicks so I have to be careful but Brownski didn't pit so maybe I will try to overtake him you know by by undercut Push, push, push. But it it depends if the if the, if the track is dry enough to um, to me be able to push the car. So we'll see. Braking just you know that was a quite careful, but you can see the oversteer again, and uh, the car is twitchy a little bit. So I have to be careful, and the braking and also the accelerating. But I hope that my times will improve. And I will be like one second, uh, you know, faster than my last lap. No breaking, just behind him, uh, you know, two hundred, one hundred meter board, and it was, um, it's still wet, so I have to be careful. A silver arrow lost uh, like uh, five seconds to myself. Maybe he had some sort of uh, repairs. I'm not sure, but he entered the pits in front of myself, so that's weird. Why he's behind? still understeering the car is understeering even on the slick tires in the wet so that's not good i think that i will not be able to overtake in brownski this this uh you know this lap yeah, with the uh, pit stops you can see on minimap that there is uh, there there are quite a lot of cars in the in the pit box right now so just uh, taking it easy there in the last sector once again the car is understanding but not so much as it was in the wet on the wet weather tires really that long so we now approaching the end of the lap 21 and Brownski is uh, just exiting the pit with the Yorkie also and there they are on the on the right hand side there in front of myself like uh, 3.2 seconds 3.3 .3 seconds I had it and they are battling which is good and I messed up my breaking point once again in this corner so I lost uh, half a second there to them and you can see it's four seconds there yeah but uh, you know nothing nothing much happened between my pit stop and lap 26 uh, because Brownski is pushing like crazy with the Yorkie and we close up on a uh, wise guy who is lapped down so he will just make uh, his car to the left yeah he will go to the left and I'm going to going to the inside so mm, good move there 
and also he's locked down so he have to he had to let us let us buy still we have um, Brownski overtook Andrex UK which is great for myself so I'm going to catch I'm going to try to catch Andrex he's 2.2 seconds in front of myself and now we we skip to lap 31 and I managed to close the gap to Andrex once again so I hope that right now the Audi will be uh, you know performing well in the dry and I hope that we will oh, catch Andrex. I will use the back straight <laughs> once again to close um, to close his, to close the okay, gap yeah, to Andrex. Yeah. And you can see the gap is going down, going down. Okay, but no right now at the, the breaking the point, point also it's going down. But you know Andrex is very good on brakes with his with his BMW. But I have a better traction, and you can see it's just yeah. five tenths. So hopefully next lap. If I don't lose any time in the last sector, I will be I will be tried trying to overtake him, and it looks like he's going wide and he always went he went to those you know half a spin, or maybe the the curbs just lift the lift his car and he went to spin, so he gifted the position uh, to myself. So it's P8 right now with uh, Brownski in front in P7. Oh. And Brownski, thankfully, he caught up with Pedro RC and he overtook him. But I couldn't, you know, for the last laps, I couldn't catch uh, Pedro. And you can see I'm just sliding oh, all over the place in the last lap. <laughs> so this is the end <laughs> of my race. Yeah, it's P8, I believe. <laughs> I think it's P8, and you know, this is this is the finish. It was not as enjoyable race as Brands Hedge last time, but you know it's uh, not um, you know bad result. So you can see that F Mamasa took the victory once again, but uh, Mini Black was very close to took the victory also because he was just one second behind F1 Massa and he was breathing down F1 Massa's neck all race, and also Kaki was there, so uh, those top three finished in two second gap. Then it's Tipple in 4th, York in 5th and then my, my teammate Brownski in 6th. We finished in 8th uh, which is great because Andrex finished in 10th. So we uh, took some points from the uh, Andrex team once again. Uh, sadly Tony R didn't finish and also Papan didn't finish. Not sure why but you know maybe they have some sort of connection problems or maybe they've crashed. So we can see F1 Massa is still leading the championship from Mini Black and Papant. Uh, we are in P8 with my teammate Browski in 7th and we have Yorki and Andrex in uh, 9th and respectively 10th. Which is great because we need to stay uh, in front of them uh, in the Drivers' Championship as well. Which means that we are going to be in front um, you know, uh, even in the Team Championship. So there's the confirmation, we are still in 3rd with Yorex racing um, in 4th, uh, between us there are 27.5 points, uh, so that's uh, quite a good gap and it's still the Black Ducks who uh, leads the championship with Team Wolverine racing in 2nd. Next up is the Snetterton 300 Grand Prix, which is the track I didn't race in a GT3 car, I know that the track just the short short version but we'll see what the race will will you know bring us there I know that the, uh, the last corner is quite difficult and also the braking in uh, in the sector 2 is quite difficult so we'll see we'll see what will happen anyway thanks for watching guys and I'll see you back on the track next week bye bye